Neuron. Potassium ion. Sodium ion. Sodium potassium pump. Sodium channel. Potassium channel. This is me, a neuron. I live inside your brain and nervous system. Neurons communicate with each other by using an action potential, which is a small pulse of electrical activity. Together, neurons help you to think, move, and sense things in the world. To do this, we have to talk to each other. Let me show you how. Hi, I'm a sodium ion. I am positively charged. I live with lots of other sodium ions in the space outside of neurons in the nervous system. Only a few sodium ions sneak inside. This creates a gradient of sodium ions across the neuron's membrane. Lots of sodium ions on the outside, very few on the inside. Hi, I'm a potassium ion. I carry a positive charge too. I live with lots of other potassium ions inside neurons. There aren't many potassium ions outside. So, sometimes I slip outside, sliding down the potassium gradient. Since more potassium ions leak out than sodium sneak in, the inside of the neuron is negative compared to the outside. We call this an electrical potential, or membrane potential. This is a chart used to show how membrane potential, also called an electrical potential, changes over time. Membrane potential is on this axis, measured in millivolts, a thousandth of a volt. By comparison, a normal wall socket in your home carries 120 volts. Time is on this axis, measured in milliseconds, a thousandth of a second. When a neuron is at rest, not firing an action potential, the membrane potential is negative 70 millivolts. When a neuron becomes less negative, it's said to be depolarizing. When a neuron returns to its resting membrane potential of negative 70 millivolts, it is said to be repolarizing. Repolarization can occur in either a positive or negative direction. I'm a sodium potassium pump. I live in the membrane of a neuron. I slowly move three sodium ions out of neurons in exchange for bringing two potassium ions in. By separating these ions, a charge difference or electrical potential is built up across the neuron's membrane, called the membrane potential. 
As sodium slips in and potassium sneaks out, I take them back where they belong. As a neuron, my job is to send electrical signals to other parts of the nervous system, carrying important information. I use the sodium and potassium gradients and some special proteins called sodium and potassium channels to generate a digital pulse called the action potential. Let me show you how I do it. The membrane surface of my axon is filled with lots of sodium and potassium channels. I act like a hallway with a door at each end that only lets sodium ions into the neuron. I am like a hallway with one door for potassium ions. When the neuron is at rest, the sodium channel outside door is closed, but its inside door is open. The potassium channel door is closed. Depolarization opens my fast outside door. And sodium ions rush into the cell. More sodium ions rushing into the cell causes more depolarization, causing more of us to open. Membrane potential becomes more positive, depolarizes to a level where the opening of sodium channels cannot be stopped. This is called the threshold for starting an action potential. Depolarization also slowly closes the sodium channel inside door and opens the potassium channel door. Now it's the potassium ion's turn. Down the concentration gradient they go. Now positive ions are moving out, making the membrane potential more negative. The cell is repolarizing. But as membrane potential repolarizes, becomes more negative, the potassium channel doors slowly close, the sodium channel outside doors rapidly close, and the sodium channel inside doors slowly open. The potassium channel door stays open the longest, so membrane potential goes below resting levels, hyperpolarizes, for a short time until the potassium channel doors are fully closed. Membrane potential finally returns to resting level. Finally, the sodium-potassium pump gets to catch up. All this happens in a very short time at one point in my axon, 2 to 3 milliseconds. To send a message anywhere, the action potential has to move along my axon. We help move the action potential along. When we rush into the axon at one place, we move along inside depolarizing the next piece of axon. When we depolarize the next piece of axon enough, an action potential happens there too.
so the action potential happens over and over again all along the axon. It appears to travel from the cell body to the axon terminal. When the nerve terminal becomes depolarized, it spits out tiny droplets of neurotransmitter, a chemical that the dendrites of the next neuron can taste. Then the entire process is repeated in this next neuron. That's it, the inside story about how action potentials are generated.